Hello friends, today we'll be discussing about TAVI, which is Transcatheter Aortic Valve Implantation, also known as TAVR, which is Transcatheter Aortic Valve Replacement. Basically, it is a minimally invasive percutaneous procedure designed to replace a deformed aortic valve, which is especially done for a severe aortic stenosis or narrowing of the aortic valve and sometimes also for severe aortic regurgitation or aortic valve leakage. Whenever the aortic valve becomes deformed, this is a percutaneous or a non-surgical way to get the aortic valve replaced. Initially, this was recommended for very high risk patients who were not feasible for a surgical replacement of the aortic valve. This was recommended in these people. But nowadays, it has been started for other patients also at a comparatively lesser risk for surgery also. In these patients also, this is being now being tried. So today we'll be discussing what exactly is this procedure, what is the type of valves which are available and what are the specific issues associated with TAVI. Before we go into the topic, I would request the people who are new to my channel to subscribe to my channel, to like the videos, comment on the videos and to share the videos. So without wasting any time, let's dive into the topic. Basically, this is a replacement of the aortic valve by a percutaneous technique. Basically, the patient is admitted to the hospital, a detailed evaluation of the patient is done. A echocardiography and a 3D echocardiography, this will give us a detailed analysis of the patient's aortic valves. Sometimes a CT aortogram is also done, which will give us the size of the aorta. And based on this, an appropriately sized tissue aortic valve is used to replace the deformed aortic valve. The procedure is usually done under general anesthesia or sometimes with conscious sedation also. Usually the femoral artery is used as the access site which is basically the large artery which is present on the anterior part of the thigh. This a small incision is made into this artery and over this we can pass the catheter according to the size of the patient and this catheter is brought to the position of the aortic valve under fluoroscopy or radiographic guidance and once the valve is found to, at an appropriate position the position of the valve is confirmed and then usually the valve is delivered in which the specially designed valve is deployed at the point where the normal aortic valve is normally placed. Usually the previous valve which was simply deformed, a balloon dilation of the valve is done before the implantation of the TAVI valve. This usually crushes the valve leaflets towards the side of the wall so that space for the new leaflet is created and after this a stented mesh which contains the tissue valve is put at the site of the previous aortic valve. And then once the stent is expanded, usually a balloon dilation procedure or a self-expandable stent, the stent mesh opens up and so does the valve leaflets which are placed inside the stent mesh. And once the stents get deployed, the valve starts functioning automatically. So basically this is a tissue valve which has been previously put in a stent mesh. This stent mesh is put over the previously deformed aortic valve which was not functioning properly. Initially this procedure was designed to be done in patients who were at a very high surgical risk because these patients were at a very high risk for open heart surgery. So TAVI was done in these patients so that the valve also was replaced and the patient need not go for an unnecessary open heart surgery which was very high risk in these cases. But recently because of the patient preference also and because of the increased experience with TAVI, more and more patients are now being taken up for TAVI instead of the open heart surgery. More and more patients at a comparatively younger age, not very young age, usually tissue valve is not preferred for young age people. And because TAVI has a limitation that so far only tissue valves are being put with TAVI, that is why most of the cases of young age group are not considered for TAVI. Most of the middle age or elderly patients are considered. But in due course of time, with the increased expertise of TAVI, more and more cases will be brought under the umbrella. More and more people at a lesser age group or at a lesser high risk profile will also be considered for TAVI. Once the valve is deployed at the appropriate site, the valve catheter is removed. And after 2-3 days of recovery period, the patient can be safely discharged. The percutaneous site where the incision was made for the placement of the catheter, that area is sealed with a suture. Sometimes transapical catheter is also used where the apical portion of the heart is punctured and from there the catheter is put. But this is less often used. More often than not, the femoral axis is used in most of the cases. And unless there is another technical reason which is contraindicating the femoral axis, usually apical axis is not used. But that too is possible. The valve is basically of two types, a balloon expandable valve in which valve is positioned at the valve position and a balloon which is there inside the valve that is inflated at high pressure. Once the valve is inflated, the tissue valve gets deployed to the position and then the balloon is removed. 
there is something known as a self expandable valve in which a sheath is placed over the valve over the mesh and once you remove the sheath because of the internal elastic forces the valve automatically expands and gets attached to the appropriate position either of them can be used in different cases both of them have their own advantage and disadvantage but that is mostly technical depending on the doctor's preference either of these valves types can be used usually the clinical results of both these valves is not very different the benefits of tabi procedure is that it is minimally invasive so as an alternative to an open heart surgery it can provide a smaller incision reduce trauma and faster recovery time to most of the patient and the surgical scar will almost not be there in most of the patients overall the symptoms of the patient improve similar to what happens after an open heart surgery and because the surgery is minimally invasive the patient can get back to his normal work after a very short duration of hospital stay most of the patients will be required to be kept in hospital for not more than 2 to 3 days after which the patient can go back home and after 7 to 10 days he can resume his normal work in contradiction to the aortic valve open surgery where the patient has to stay in the hospital for at least 7 days and the work of the patient usually does not begin at least after 1 month of the surgery also the patient is usually kept at bed rest and the rehabilitation process is much more longer as compared to what is seen for tabi now what are the risk of tabi procedure usually the risks are not many but significant risk might be there there might be some vascular complication because at the puncture site there might be significant bleeding or damage usually sometimes the valves might be mal position or valve migration also might occur this might lead to significant problems sometimes a stroke or neurological complication might occur in a few cases sometimes some infection might occur at the valve treatment site sometimes some heart rhythm abnormalities might occur because the conduction system which is closely located to the aortic valve that might be damaged by the stent some patients might develop kidney damage because of the use of contrast although most of the patients this is comparatively less invasive and less complicating as compared to a surgical procedure the results are almost similar although for most of the younger patients used is still the surgical open heart replacement is considered a better option because the overall technical results are better and the option of metallic valve is usually there for younger patients which is the preferred valve in this case for elderly patients of course tabi can be preferred because tissue valve is placed in the elderly patients in due course of time with the increasing redo tabi surgery is becoming more and more common there are chances that much and much younger patients also might be taken up for tabi but as of now because the technical know how about the redo procedure is not very big so as of now only the patients who are elderly beyond the age of 50 55 which are comparatively at a high risk for open heart surgery these people are the prime candidates for tabi but in due course of time the indications for tabi will keep on widening so in this topic we have discussed what is tabi or transcatheter aortic valve implantation or tavr which is transcatheter aortic valve replacement surgery what is the type of surgery what are the issues of the surgery how exactly it is done and what are the issues and complications associated with the problem we have done other videos on open heart surgery and the issues before and after surgeries we have done other topics on mitral clips and also on tavi please check out all these videos on my topic that will give you a lot of extra information before we end the topic i would request the people who are new to my channel to subscribe to my channel to like the videos comment on the videos and to share the videos in social media groups if possible thank you